Hi everyone, playing football should always be fun, but especially for the younger kids playing. So here are some fun drills you can use in your sessions for U5, U6, U7 and even U8. I'll show you three drills you can use, both with a 2D model and a 3D model, so you can get a full understanding of the drill. The first drill is called clean your room. You want to set out a rectangle and have the rectangle split in half a line of cones. And each team will have a selection of balls in their half of the rectangle. And the goal of this drill is to try and kick all of the balls in that one half into the opponent's half. Now this will work on some communication, some ball control, some playing into the space and a lot of fun for the kids. You can put a time limit on this drill and say whoever has the least amount of footballs in their half of the rectangle after a minute is the winner. The next drill is called Crossfire. For this, have two sets of cones around 10 yards apart from each other and have a couple of players line up on either side. Now you'll have a few players inside these cones and their goal is to run to the other side without being hit by the ball. Encourage the players to aim for the player that's running through the grid, but make sure they aim below the knee. If a player is to get hit by a ball, encourage them just to stand still so the rest of the players know that they are out. The last drill is called marbles. This drill can be used with any shape, circle or a rectangle or a square, though I encourage you to use a circle as it prevents the player hanging out in one corner. For this drill, have all the players inside the circle with a ball. Now the goal here is for those to dribble around with the ball, looking after their own ball but also trying to kick an opponent's ball out of the circle. So there you go, three easy drills you can use in your team sessions to not only help the kids engage and have fun, but also develop some awareness, some ball control and some communication. Have fun and good luck.